Hello viewers, hope you are doing fine. Welcome to Elimu TV, a station where I watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Pamaida. So today I'm going to take you through CRE Form 1, Lesson 16. We're going to look at the creation and the fall of humankind. Under the sub we are in the subtopic, God's plan for salvation. God's plan of salvation. So, welcome. Start by our lesson on goals. What are we expected by the end of the lesson, this lesson? So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain God's plan of salvation. God's plan of salvation. So after the fall of man, God took steps to heal the damaged situation and the relationship between him, Adam and Eve. After the fall of man, God took steps. To heal the damaged situation and the relationship between him, Adam and Eve. So we, sa we shall look at the ways or the plans of salvation. One is that God provided clothing of skin to Adam and Eve. After sinning, the Adam and Eve they realized that they were naked. They became shameful and they started hiding. So God provided them with clothing of skin. Adam and Eve. Another plan is that God looked for Adam and Eve since they were hiding from his presence. When they ate, when Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, they realized they had sinned against God. So they were hiding. They started hiding. God called out their names, but they were hiding. But God knew where they were. So he looked for them and provided them with skin for their clothing and told them not to hide. God provided Adam and Eve with knowledge to find different foods. He provided them with knowledge to find different foods. Remember he told them they have to toil to find food. They have to work because the land was cursed. So God provided Adam and Eve with knowledge to find different foods. Declare, God declared enmity between man and the snake. There was enmity between man and the snake. Even today when someone finds a snake, he will kill it because there's enmity between man and the snake. God also, God also hinted at the ultimate victory of man. That the serpent would attack the heel of man and woman but it will be killed. So those are the God's plan of salvation. And now all through the Old Testament and the New Testament, we see God's plan of salvation being manifested. For instance, God chose and separated Abraham from other communities, like uh, the children of Israel led by Moses. They were delivered from Egypt. God sent prophets to teach and warn the Israelites of the dangers of sin. And finally, we can see God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to save humankind for our, for our salvation. So that is God's plan of salvation. That's the end of our lesson. Have an activity. Answer the following question. Explain God's plan of salvation. On to our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education Student Book 1, KLB 3rd Edition. Thank you for joining us. For this and more, if you maybe have a question, a comment, you can contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can get, find us on YouTube, Elimu TV, on Facebook, Elimu TV, and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. See you next time.